What's up, everyone? Tedrick85 here, and you know what day today is. Today is Retro Wednesday, and I'm going to be, be, be playing a game which, to be quite honest, I've never played before. I got this at a, uh, a flea market. I don't even remember. It's been years ago, but I've never actually touched this game. Don't ask me why, but as you can see, I'm going to be playing FIFA 99 today. And I should say that in an hour from now, uh, we Wednesday, I'll be playing another FIFA game for you guys. So this is going to be like FIFA Wednesday, um, sort of, kind of like instead of Retro Wii Wednesday. Hopefully you guys don't mind that. Hey, sports. It's in the game. Get to see the old EA Sports insignia. Which, no, really no different from the current one. You see all the 99 games, you see NFL, NBA, NHL, you get to see some boxing. I think it's pretty cool they showed the Pittsburgh Steelers, so that's a football team I support in real life. I wish I would have skipped that towards the end. Actually, hold on a minute. I, I don't even have my uh, uh, controller hooked up. Just it, give me one second. I was gonna say, I should have been able to skip that, but yeah, I don't even have my controller hooked up. Yeah, I have to skip that because I don't want uh, copyright. But anyway, we are gonna start FIFA 99. Well, play FIFA 99. I'm not, t I don't plan on turning any into a series or anything, but. Let me just see what all we can do here. We got the European Dream League, or I bet uh, Florentino Perez and Real Madrid would like that. Quick start, we have a friendly, we can go for a season, golden goal. We have some training, got options, team management, player edit, team edit. Let's just take a look at some of the teams here. First of all, let's see what leagues there are. Okay, we can go to Pick them. Hold on a sec. Wait a minute. There we go. We can go England, France, Germany, Italy, Netherlands, Portugal, Scotland, Spain, Sweden, USA. Wait a minute. USA, it has an Atlanta team down here, which is interesting. Considering Atlanta United just came out a few years ago. The rest of Europe. International. There's Belgium. Brazil. Let's see some of these teams. You see Manchester United. Liverpool. Leicester City, that was back when they were sort of like a yo-yo team. Leeds United was a, a very established Premier League team. Was Everton. Derby County. Coventry, they were a staple in the Premier League when, uh, early on in the league's existence. Was Chelsea, before they got bought by uh, Roman Abramovich. Charlton Athletic. Blackburn Rovers. Got Aston Villa. Arsenal. Wimbledon, which, well, Wim this incarnation of Wimbledon, Wimbledon FC no longer exists. They are now the Milton Keynes Dons. See West Ham, Tottenham, Southampton. Sheffield Wednesday was a Premier League team back in. Same with Nottingham Forest. See Newcastle, Middlesbrough. Okay, 
let's go to France. Let's see what's in France right now. Okay, you see up there? Bastia, Ordo, Metz, Le Havre, Lorient, Lyon, Marseille, Monaco, Montpellier, Nancy, Nantes, PSG before they got brought by oil money, Long, Rennes, Soso, Strasbourg, Toulouse, not really anything unusual in France. We got 1860 Munich in Bayern Munich. Bakum, who got recently promoted in real life. Borussia Mönchengladbach, Borussia Dortmund, Diceberg, Eintracht Frankfurt, Freiburg, Hamburg. I should probably turn this music down. I didn't even think about it. Yeah, I was got Hansa Rostock got uh, promoted in real life. Kaiser Slautern, Leverkusen, Nuremberg, Schalke, who got relegated in real life, Stuttgart, Wolfsburg, Berto Bremen, who got relegated in real life. Okay, I gotta turn this music off, I'm sorry. I'm gonna end up getting copyright for this. There we go. Yeah, I can't have that music play. I know I'll ha I'll be uh, having a copyright thing. Oh come on! I want to save those changes. I want this muted, please, game. Save changes will be lost, are you sure? And of course I forget to mute my phone. Is it because I don't have a memory card? Oh, actually I do have a memory card in. How do I, sa how do I save? I want to save these changes. How am I supposed to do that? Come on, I want to show off more of this game. I can't, but if I'm going to get freaking... This is really stupid. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's... Check out the rest of this. Okay, let's let's go to Italy. Let's see what kind of teams are in Italy. We've got AC Milan, Bari, Bologna, Cagliari, Empoli, Fiorentina, Inter Milan, Perugia, uh, uh, Perugia, and Piacenza. Piacenza. Salernitana. 
Got some teams right there. The Venezia. Vicenza. Okay, let's see what Dutch teams there are. You see IZ, IX, Camber, De Grafschap, Twente, Utrecht, Feyenoord, Maastricht, there's Breda, I don't really care about Portugal or Scotland, if I'm being honest. Okay, let's check out what teams were in, Sp in La Liga this time. Okay, let's see Athletic Bilbao, Tenerife, Extreme Madura was a La Liga team, which is interesting. Alaves were a perennial team, same with Deportivo La Coruña, Corsica Barcelona, Salta Vigo. Rayo Oviedo was a La Liga team at one time. This Rayo Racing team is, uh, I believe, a Santander. So it goes to Salamanca. Via Rail. Let's check out what teams are in the U.S. There's Atlanta, Boston, Chicago, well, Boston, I guess, would be New England, Chicago Fire. I think back then they were known as the Dallas Burn back in 1999. I don't think they turned into FC Dallas until sometime in the 2000s. Detroit, there is no MLS Detroit team. Los Angeles, back then there was only one LA team, that was the Galaxy. Miami, that probably Miami Fusion. I'm not sure if they actually still existed when this game was made. Montreal did not have a uh, uh, MLS team yet. Of course, now they're known as the Impact. Well, they, they were known as the Impact. Now they're known as Club Foot de Montreal. New Orleans does not have a MLS team. Got New York Red Bull. Back then, they, they were known as the New York, New Jersey Metro Stars. Philadelphia did not have a MLS team back in 99, but now we have the Philadelphia Union. San Antonio does not have a MLS team. Seattle Sounders, they were not an MLS team. They were a professional soccer team. They just didn't play in MLS. Interesting, there's no Portland. St. Louis, they don't have an MLS team yet, but I think either next season or the season after, they will have a MLS team. Toronto. Back in 99, did not have an MLS team, and now that we have Toronto FC. Same with Vancouver, now that we have the Vancouver Whitecaps. Let's check out the rest of Europe. I promise there will be gameplay here pretty soon. I just want to check some of this out. Got AK Athens. Amica Ronki. I... Honestly, you have no idea where that team is from. Anathosis, the Greek... Uh, Anathosis, uh, Famagusta, they're from Cyprus. Same with Apollon Limassol, they came, uh, they're from Cyprus. Beta Jerusalem, of course, they're from Israel. Besiktas from Turkey. Bronby, I believe, they're from Denmark. CSKA Kiev, I guess that would be Dynamo Kiev in the Ukrainian League. Croatia Zagreb, I guess, would be Dinamo Zagreb. Dynamo Moscow from Russia. Oh, so there's Dynamo Kiev. CSK Kiev must... Who would that be? I can't believe I don't know if there's another Kiev team or not, but Dynamo Tbilisi from uh, the Republic of Georgia. Copenhagen, of course, from Denmark. Kosic. I can't place where they're at at the moment. I want to say they're somewhere... I know there's someone from somewhere from Eastern Europe. I just don't know. I don't don't remember what country. FC Zurich is from Switzerland. Galatasaray is from Turkey. Grasshopper is from Switzerland. HJK Helsinki from Finland. 
Hajduk Split, they're from Croatia. How can Valkyria, Valkyria Karski? I have no clue where they're from. Jablonek, I believe they're from one of the former Yugos Yugoslavia nations. LSK Lords, I think, are from Austria. Lausanne is from Switzerland. Levski Sofia from Bulgaria. Litex Lovek, I'm not quite sure where they're from offhand. Locomotive Moscow, of course, from Russia. MTK, I have no idea what that what they are. Maccabi Haifa from Israel. Marabor from Slovenia. Metalurgs, that could be. I know there's several teams with Metalurg in the game. I'm, I'm, name, I'm guessing they're from Russia. Oblik. Um, Olympiakos from Greece. Panathinaikos, also from Greece. Panionios, also from Greece. Partisan Belgrade from Serbia. Same with Red Star Belgrade. Rapid Bucharest is from Romania. Rosenborg is from Norway. That team, I want to say, I can't pronounce it, but I want to say they're from the Republic of North Macedonia. SB Reed is from Austria. Servet, I believe, is from Switzerland. Skonto Riga from Latvia. Sparta Prague from Czech Republic. Sparta Moscow from... Um... Russia, Spartak Tanava, I think they're from the Czech Republic, uh, Storia Bucharest, now known just simply as FCSB, from Romania, Sturm Graz from Austria, Rupest from Hungary, Belaranga from Norway, Vertex Berenzin from, I don't know where they're from. Let's see what international teams there are. See if there's any that stand out. Bulgaria. I think there's a Bulgaria even today. Croatia. This was a year after the semifinal finish at the World Cup. Ooh, Israel is on there. That's interesting. Same with Iran. Jamaica's in there. I'm guessing a lot of these, these are probably nations that qualified for the World Cup the previous season. They would have to be. At least a bunch of them are anyway. There's no Mexican League. That's interesting. Let's go back to England. And I want to go to Newcastle. Let's see what kind of team Newcastle has. Let's go to starting lineup. And you see their lineup right there. They got Shea Given in goal. Um, Warren Burton, who's a, p a pundit in real life. Um... Stuart Pierce, I believe that is. Ketsbaya. Uh, there's um, Batty, Robert Lee, Gary Speed, rest in peace. Reverk, which is considered one of the worst signings in Newcastle history. Of course, there is the big guy right there, Alan Shearer. Kevin Gillespie. Dietmar Harmon. I keep forgetting that he used to play for Newcastle. Um, Andy Griffin. Nobby Solano, he's a kind of like a a, a, a fan favorite. Nikos Dabazas. But now that we got to see all that, I know I'm gonna get copyright for this video, but whatever. I I'll, I'll 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 just have to deal with that when that happens but anyway let's play a quick match here okay, I kinda don't wanna play looks like I'm not gonna have much of a choice yeah I guess I'll be Manchester United you can see their team Yap Stan uh, think that I forget, I, I, I cannot remember who was right back, Philip or Gary, but one of the Nevilles, Ryan Giggs, Roy Keane, David Beckham, 
Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, who is the manager in real life, Dwight York. You can see Arsenal team, David Seaman in goal. They got Richard Keown, Tony Adams, Mark Overmars, Ray Parler, um, Nicholas Anelka, Dennis Bergkamp, Emmanuel Petit, Patrick Vieira. That is a pretty strong Arsenal Glad team. you could join us in time for our live match, which today is between Manchester and Arsenal. I hear they're about ready to kick off, so... Oh, and one thing you probably did notice, too. Close. There is no Manchester City in this game. In here I believe when this game was out, they were actually a League One team, here to see some good I think. Football. Any thoughts, Mark? It's a brilliant atmosphere for the players here. They'll be yeah, loving I've this. never played this, this game, be before, game before, so I don't know what to expect. Bloomquist. Oh. He really flew in there for the tackle, and he could be in some pain. Yes, great footwork. Close nice him down well there. Great power in the shot there. Really thumped that. Good save there by Casper Schmeichel. Jonsson. Good control. Good run here. Good pass. That's produced a fine save from the goalkeeper. Now that yeah, this, the keeper, I'm not gonna lie, this game to is very stiff. You can tell FIFA's gone a long, gone, has come a long way yeah, since this. How, did, how was that a foul? What did I do? And, and I get the red card. Mistake, which may cost his side dearly. Down to ten men, and the manager with some. I don't even know what happened there. David Beckham got sent off. That's interesting. Anelka. The loose ball picked up. Jonsson. Bloomquist. Good passing there. Good control. That's a fantastic save. Did well under pressure there, the keeper. I can't believe he got to that wonderful save, John. And the goal kick taken. Keen. Yeah, that's a throw, a throw in then. Overmars. Nice tackle! Adams. Neat pass there. Now that's what I call tackling. Off the... Yes! No problem at all! He made it look so easy when it was anything but... He knew he would... The first goal goes in then, and the score here, 1-0. Let me see, what are the control... Is there any way that I can see controllers? Options. I want to see what the controls are like. Yeah, it won't let me look. Is there a sprint button here? Oh, that's a good challenge. I like how I tackle these players and they constantly get the ball. Bloomquist. Yes, good control. Good accurate long ball. Got I didn't even shoot ball, that. Then. You know what? You know, I'm done. <laughs> but there we go. That is FIFA 99. But yeah, that game, this game feels really, really stiff. Like I said, FIFA's come a long way since the, uh, this, and I can't really blame it in a way. I mean, this was early on in the FIFA life cycle, so I, I mean, I, I bet you if I played this back when it first came out, then I would have gotten used to it, but now that I'm so used to, like, the later games, and this just feel this just doesn't feel right to me. But, um... But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little trip down, uh, well, I've never played this game before, but to take a trip down memory lane to see what all teams were in 
the top flight uh, of the respective nations and that. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you guys are enjoying Retro Wednesdays. And I'll be seeing you guys again next time.